Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna do a Frost Dragon video guide uh, commentary, and uh, it's gonna include everything, honestly, uh, for pures, for zerkers. I'm a zerker, uh, for mains or you know whatever. Um, so pretty much, uh, if you, you might notice that uh, my voice changed since the last video four months ago. Uh, one because I got a new microphone and two because my balls dropped recently recently so um that's pretty much it um okay let's get on to it so what do I bring I am only 60 prayers so, so higher your prayer is uh, less peapots you need so for mains or for 95 prayers or 99 prayers you pretty much need two prayer potions I bring uh, three prayer potions. Uh, bring a ranging potion, or if you have high herb level, bring an, an extreme range potion. Bring a nine tie fire. Uh, if you have high herb lore, you won't need uh, an extreme, or no, I mean a super anti fire or something like that. You won't need it, you just need a normal anti fire. Uh, both of, well, all the potion needs to be a four of those. And um, I bring two monk fishes just in case. Sometimes I get hit with m melee. It's it's rare, but yeah. Anyways, I bring a tortoise. Um, you honestly need at least 52 uh, summoning to get a to bring a terror bird to put uh, 12 items, well bones, in your terror bird during the trip. Uh, I bring the white tortoise because I recently got 67 summoning. Um, that's pretty much it. Other than that, you need cannonballs. You you will waste around uh, 400 cannonballs for per trip, which is around 100k loss. But you will win. That that's the main thing here. You will win around 1.6 mil. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have a pack yak, bring a pack yak. I mean, you can camp there for fucking ages. If you have a pack yak, you will get probably over uh, three million per hour. Yeah. Uh, so the main thing for Frost Dragon to enter the Frost Dragon area, you need 85 dungeoneering. So first of all, it's members, and you need 85. It took me around one week to get during Christmas break 1 to 85 my friends uh, help help me a lot but yeah one week I'd say so it's really worth it I'm gonna show you it so I forgot I tab fuck my life I forgot I tab you need also a teleport to your house uh, for the for the armor you need any basic range well I, I'm showing the range method here you can also melee them if you have high uh, combat stats and all melee. Um, I'm gonna use range. It's a uh, pretty good range XP. I get 60k range XP per hour, which is freaking good. Okay. Um, so yeah, I bring void. You can bring also um if you don't have void, bring fucking uh, black dehyde. You know, basic shit. I use broad bolts. Glory if you have fury. Bring Fury. Um, I use Unholy Book for um, for um, prayer bonus. Uh, if you if you melee them, you should use uh, a uh, Dragon Fire Shield. Uh, I to tell you back to a bank. I use my Ring of Kingship. You don't need a Ring of Wealth. First thing you do, you teleport to your house. Your house should be uh, located in Remington. Uh, and then you head south so this is the way to to go there also you when you tell you to house go in the tools and go in the click on the house options and teleport at portal right here so just click on it uh, on your way there you have um, a summoning obelisk to recharge your prayer uh, your summoning and there is also an altar right here where you can recharge your prayer. Um.
when you enter this area for the first time, you get 15k uh, dungeoneering exp. Holy shit! Fuck! I forgot my fucking cannon. Oh my god! I forgot my cannon. Fuck! Uh, I'll pause the video and I'll be right fucking back. <laughs> okay, and I'm back and I got my fucking cannon. Now, when you enter, I suggest you go south east. I always get uh, go south east. Make sure you drink an anti fire potion because you might get hit. You mother fucking can. Whatever, I can still fucking kill dragons. Um. So you set your cannon around here. It's basically in the middle of all of that. And click on fire. It will fire. Try to get. Try try to lure frost dragon as close as possible if you're dwarf from the cannon because it will the, the the cannon will like hit higher and better accuracy and all that. All of that. Um. So yeah, frost dragons are level 166. So. It's pretty much the, see they're fucking easy to kill. So basically, I, I kill one every maybe 20 seconds. Oh, see maybe less than that. I mean this is amazing. Um, so yeah, you see this one is far. So what I'm gonna do is run over here, throw him to my cannon, and my cannon will do the job. I mean you can you can also AFK. Uh, while doing frosties, I mean, uh, it's a basic, it's a, it's a basic method, um, like, you just attack frost dragons while praying mage. Um, where's my fucking bone, you motherfucking cannon, that motherfucking cannon, Ah. Uh, anyways, he took my kill, son of a bitch, um, Where's my fucking- You son of a fucking cannon! I swear to god, if you see another cannon, just fucking hop world because it's fucking frustrating. He's fucking lucky this isn't fucking PvP because I'm gonna kick that fucking spirit terror bird fucking ass. Ugh. Okay. Fucking nerd rage on a fucking game. This is fucking loot game. One per pot is about well, one dose of per pot is about four dragon kills. Well, for me it is. At least for me it is. And you just uh, summon your tortoise. It should last two trips. You summon it um, about when you have because it it, it can hold about um, well it can hold 18 uh, bones. So what you do is uh, when you have 18 bones, you summon your Tortoise, and you just put the bone, bones in it by using it on your tortoise. Um, also, so I mentioned it that you can make. Um, oh, see, he just fucking hit me, so don't get close uh, to him. Eat when uh, it's necessary, and uh, yeah, you can make 1.6 mil um, per hour. I am going to show you guys. Uh, after this trip, how much I made, how many bones I, I got, and uh, I'm supposed to get around um, 42 bones. Usually, I get that. Um, I pick up all the charms. I don't pick up gold charms. I just pick the other ones. Um, what else? Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. So yeah, if you melee them, just. Uh, Careful. I mean, they can hit like you just saw it before. Um, I was about to say something else. What the fuck am I gonna say? So, yeah, you pretty much get 40 green charms per hour, about 25 crimson per hour, and 5 to 10 blue charms per hour. Uh, when do you have to anti fire bot? Well, ah, oh, you motherfucking dragon. Oh, there's a shark. Perfect. Um, you have the anti-fire pot when uh, there, there's gonna be a, a red message at the bottom. It's gonna say like your anti-fire pot is a well, your anti-fire against dragons is about to run out. So that's when you anti-fire pot. And every time I anti-fire pot, I take a dose of fucking range potion which I didn't fucking drink. Oh well.
of my life. Um, it's important to range portion because, well, range part because it, it really helps. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. I'll just pause the video and at the end, um, I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I got as a loot. Uh, and also, I, I I do about yeah, I do three trips per hour. Um. Which is pretty much good. So one trip is um, it is um, 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. So you see, I I already killed about f 10, 15 of them, whatever. So it's pretty much fucking on it. Frost dragons get 85 dungeon ring. It's really worth it. You get a chaotic weapon and you get half. Of another chaotic weapon, I got one a three. Yeah, I got 320k uh, tokens at the moment. Um. So yeah, see now you, now I got an anti fire bot which I will range bot to, and just keep on going. You know, this is how I place my inventory. Um, I'm gonna pause the video now and I'll be back at the end. Okay, I'm back. This is the end of my trip. Um, every every time you're about to leave, drop uh, three dragon bones on the floor. Then you pick up your dwarf cannon. Just just after you kill this guy. So you pick it up. You re like you re fucking set it up. And then you pick up your dragon bones from the floor. This what it does is um well a after after you do that you just uh, go to the mysterious door and you teleport outside of it. So why did I do that with the cannon? Uh, well, basically it's just to not well the cannon after uh, 30 minutes it decays. So to prevent that you pick it up and you set it back up. So it it has a, another timer of 30 minutes. So let's see what I just got here. Um, I got I used 450 cannonballs. Um, I got a few of these, a few of these. You know, I got this, which is like 80k. Uh, I mean 18k. I'll put it here. So if you take 164, so I fuck my life. 164. So I I did 41. 41 dra frost dragon bones and a loop heavy. Also they drop starved the ancient FGs, which is really good. Good XP. So this is what I made in one trip. So I made about 600k in one trip of frost dragon bones. Uh, frost dragons. Fuck. <laughs> frost dragons. So, um, the tortoise last two trips. So basically, I made 600k in 20 minutes. If you do times uh, three times, well, yeah. If you do it times three, you get 1.8 mil. Um, so you, you use about 100k worth of cannonballs at each time. Uh, so you basically get 1.5 mil per hour. Good range XP. So you should get 85 Dungeoneering. And this is all guys. Subscribe for more commentaries, videos, and uh, yeah, peace.